Calamitous Bank Collapse 2023 Multi-trillion dollars derivatives time bomb Huge corporations are about to go bankrupt, and according to the emerging information we have on this crisis, it will happen in 2023. The Bank for International Settlements recently released a detailed report which revealed some troubling facts about the level of global debt that has been accumulated over the past few years. There is a serious global bank problem as banks are hiding debt worth $85 trillion. It turns out that we are just one bad business cycle away from a full-blown collapse of the global financial system. We'll break down what the BIS said, explain why most businesses will collapse in 2023, and put forward a few predictions as to what this might mean for everyone around the world. Hi, allow me to welcome you to another video of Finance Sense. We cover all the latest trends in the financial markets and the economy. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep posted. With that being said, let's start. You've probably never heard of the Bank for International Settlements. For those unaware, it is a global financial organization that is a behemoth of the financial sector and is, in fact, owned by 63 different central banks throughout the world. The People's Bank of China, the European Central Bank, the Russian Central Bank, and even the Federal Reserve own it. Since these central banks collectively control 95% of the global GDP, if you name a central bank, chances are good that it has a connection to the BIS. Since they are known as the central bank to all other central banks, everyone pays attention when they talk. Recently, they released what appeared to be an ordinary report, like they do every quarter. But this time, they revealed that banks and other financial organizations throughout the world are hiding debt worth over $85 trillion. The $85 trillion in hidden debt is just half as large as the total global economy and is over four times the size of the U.S. economy. So what precisely does the BIS report indicate? According to the second sentence of the report's summary, foreign exchange swap positions suggest there are over 80 trillion US dollars in unreported off-balance sheets. According to Claudio Borio, the BIS's head of the Monetary and Economic Department, in particular, there is a staggering volume of off-balance sheet dollar debt that is partly hidden, and foreign exchange risk settlement remains stubbornly high. The BIS, an organization of 63 of the biggest central banks worldwide, decided to compress its 80 86-page report in this manner. The amount of hidden debt is estimated to be close to $100 trillion when all hidden debt denominated in other currencies, such as the euro, is included. But what actually is happening? What are currency swaps? How is it possible that nobody is bringing up the shadow debt bubble which is bigger than the global GDP? It begins with foreign currency markets and the challenges presented by the necessity of converting between two currencies, which is actually much more challenging than it would initially appear. A foreign Foreign exchange swap is a deal in which one party borrows money in one currency, lends it out in another currency at the same time, and then exchanges the money back when the loans are paid off. This makes it possible for two independent parties to basically exchange currency. So for instance, if an American bank requires euros and a European bank needs dollars, both may switch currencies and both banks will receive what they need. When the loans are repaid, the party that had dollars when the transaction began has dollars again, and the party that had euros has euros again. This is reportedly an excellent approach since you can preset the currency rate you'll use when the loans are repaid and utilize the current exchange rate for today. Therefore, there is no foreign exchange risk due to fluctuating value of the currency, and some even assert that this is risk-free lending, which is the worst thing anyone can say because it isn't at all risk-free. The most crucial aspect of these swaps is that they are not included in standard debt statistics and are not shown on company balance sheets. It's extremely impossible to determine how much of this debt a given company, let alone a whole country, has, and businesses or banks are not required to disclose it to investors. On a typical day, this isn't a big deal since the debt is collateralized with the other currency you've traded it with, and in the end, after the loans are both repaid, you'll eventually wind up with the same currencies. Hence, these liabilities may remain as invisible debt and have no effect on a company's profitability. So what's the problem here? When the global economy 
economy begins to weaken, and when there are flashpoints or even market crashes, issues start to occur because these events lead to a funding squeeze, transforming all of this good debt into extremely terrible and dangerous debt. Previous flashpoints include the COVID meltdown in 2020 and the world financial crisis in 2008, which caused our whole economy to collapse. So thankfully, we are not on the verge of another catastrophe like those. But right now, we're going to witness three major effects that when combined, will force the $100 trillion debt bubble to burst. Without the ability to pay the debt's interest, no one would be willing to make loans, which is why financing shortages occur. It wouldn't be a problem if and when this debt matured and was simply paid off. But that's not the case. This debt is carried over and remains unpaid. Nevertheless, it has to be refinanced, which suggests that if interest rates have increased since the loan was initially taken out, the interest payments will also increase. Over the past year, interest rates have increased at a rate that is quicker than the COVID crash or even the global financial crisis. 80% of the $100 trillion in this debt bubble must be refinanced within a year. And refinancing rates for corporate debt have climbed by three or even four times since this debt was initially taken out. If the interest rate on $100 trillion of debt goes up by 1%, it will cost $1 trillion more every year. Right now, the federal funds rate has gone up to 4.5%, which could mean that the cost of debt will go up by $4.5 trillion annually. As a result, the banks, institutions, pension, and hedge funds, and any other regular corporations carrying this debt will now have to pay far more to service it than they did last year. As a result, a few weaker corporations worldwide will run out of cash, file for bankruptcy, and ultimately collapse. No matter what President Joe Biden attempts to convince the public, a recession is about to start. Real incomes have been declining every month. As a result, individuals are earning less and spending less, which is beginning to have an impact on the economy and businesses. The recession will also cause companies to generate less revenue. They would have lower revenues or profits and weaker balance sheets, making it impossible for many of them to remain solvent even if their debt payment expenses remain the same. The cost of debt, however, have recently recently climbed significantly, forcing weaker businesses to spend even more of their already limited resources to pay off their debt and maintain their solvency. This will lead to some companies, as was previously stated, running out of money, filing for bankruptcy, defaulting on their debts, and ultimately collapsing. But since everything here is based on foreign exchange swaps, there's another problem at hand. So what happens to the US dollar when the world economy enters a recession every single time? The US currency consistently performs well and frequently serves as a safe house. As the dot-com bubble burst, for instance, the value of the US dollar increased from 0.9 of a euro to 1.15. During the global financial crisis, the value of the US dollar also increased from 0.50 to 0.7 at its highest peak. Currently, 80 trillion of this 100 trillion dollar debt is in US dollars, meaning US dollars are required to pay it off, but it comes from nations outside the US. As a result, obtaining US dollars will become more costly Costly if the value of the euro, British pound, or Japanese yen falls along with those of the European, British, and Japanese economies. All of these add up to one end. Businesses will fail due to the debt bubble. Employees of these firms will be laid off. Consumer spending will fall as individuals have less money. And the recession will intensify. Since every financial institution in the globe has been bombarded with trillions of dollars of liquidity over the past 10 years, the second global financial crisis will be larger, harsher, and just plain worse. The swap banks that facilitated these loans will find themselves caught up in the entire affair. Since the economies of the the UK, Japan, and Germany are so strongly dependent on US dollar investment, they will probably be the worst affected by this hidden debt. If the foreign exchange swap market collapse, this dependence could not continue, as it did during the global financial crisis. Hi, it looks like you've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching this far. Please subscribe and give a like if you enjoyed it and comment your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Finance Sense, helping you keep up with all the latest trends in the financial markets and the economy. See you around!